Okay, so here's broken down how NFC works. So I like to say it bridges the real and digital world. So follow me on this. You're a real person, you're walking down the street, you tap an RFID tag, which is a physical tag. That leads to a digital action in the digital world. Okay, so you're taking, you're bridging the real world with the digital world. So NFC marketing, when you think about it, is really this. It's a poster, an outdoor poster, for example, one of the thousands of applications for this. Here's an NFC poster. Here's a takeover on one of the streets. I believe it's in Paris. And here you can basically tap your phone and you can list and you can list what book you're going to read. So they even have a QR code there for people who don't have. So the iPhone users can use the, the QR code there. Uh, but it's basically enabled through this little sticker called an NFC tag. It's used everywhere. Here's in Japan, um, very smart idea. When you're going to hold the handrail on the subway, you can also check in and you can opt in for certain bonus and benefits. Now, NFC tags, the best way to think of them are just literally stickers with a microchip on the back of them. Okay, they allow people, when they scan them or tap them, to do anything. So here's an example, a real life example of somebody taking an NFC tag, touching it to their Android phone, and having it automatically do an action. Now, this video was slowed down. Um, this was also an application for home automation. Okay, so NFC tags have a whole other fun side that I'll be covering with you shortly. But focusing on the marketing, that's basically how it works. You have a sticker, you have a phone, you tap the phone to the sticker, and it pulls up anything. So with a single tap, and you local marketers probably are familiar with all of these logos, with this single tap, this little microchip bridges the physical and the digital world.